hi guys welcome back to my channel this is jewel again so guys i would just like to give you an update on my 10 gallon tank um his name is okiji um he is really doing well in this 10 gallon tank and i already put some live plants in it and in my previous video i told you guys that i'm gonna put some neon tetras or some purple tetras with him but i changed my mind I would like to put him on my 20 gallon tank together with my community tank. I know guys that um Grammys and Peta fish don't get along together because I know they are territorial fish and they are really really aggressive with each other but 50-50 of the fish keepers are telling me that um this um kind of fish usually do well together. But some of them are telling me that they don't get well together. It depends on how uh, the personality of the fish, really. But I'm gonna have a leap of faith and try to put my better fish on this community tank. Because if I'm gonna be successful in it, I know that my better fish would thrive on this tank. And he will really be happy on this tank because he's gonna be swimming with other fishes. So guys... Without further ado, I'm going to get um, Aokiji out of this 10-gallon tank and try to acclimate him on my 20-gallon tank. Here you go, guys. As you can see, guys, I'm trying to carefully get him out of the tank so that I won't damage any of his fins or tear his fins. I'm going to put him on the better cup so that I could acclimate him on the 20 gallon tank. So guys, I got a big plan for this 10 gallon tank. Please watch my next video about it. Um, guys, uh, I'm gonna let you see or give you a closer look on my Aokiji, my betta fish. Here you go, I'll just focus the camera. Here we go, um, he's really healthy. His fins are really good and he's doing fine. So I hope he's gonna be okay on the 20 gallon tank or in the 20 gallon tank. So I'm gonna acclimate him so he can join this 20 gallon community tank. So guys, I've already acclimated um, my betta fish. So I'm gonna try to put um, him in the 20 gallon tank. I know... Um, I'm crossing my fingers that they won't be aggressive toward each other, the Guramis and my betta fish. And I hope I did not made, uh, made any mistake about doing this. So guys, here I'll put the betta fish in the tank. As you can see, the betta fish is on the lower tank with the male Gurami. And he does not show any signs of aggression. But I have observed um, in a couple of minutes um, that the betta fish is really, really um, just hiding on the log decoration in the lower left. And I think he's marking his territory. And sometimes he shows aggression towards the short fin um, neon tetras and the platys. But I know that he can't um, outrun them or outswim them <laughs> because they are short fin and I know betas are not really that good of a swimmer. So I think um, the dwarf gurami is um, marking his territory on the right side at, and the betta fish on the left side. And I hope, um, as you can see, um, I think they are doing fine. Um, on my next video, I'm going to give you an update about my 20 gallon tank or this this tank particularly. I hope um, some um, beginner fish keeper or amateur fish keeper just like me would learn about this. So as you can see, I'm going to run um, a minute full of video um, with this tank and let you see that um, betta fish and dwarf gurami um, in my case can live together in a 20 gallon tank um, thank you for watching and please do subscribe in my channel and see you on my next video um, please um, hit the 
notification button on the subscribe button it will be a big help on my channel thank you so much and have a great day guys Thank you so much for watching guys um carpe dm seize the moment see you guys on my next video and my big surprise on my 10 gallon tank thank you so much goodbye guys bye